All right. So where are the other two exactly? Those two are probably went back to their rooms. Okay. I guess I'll. That tells us the answer, I guess. So wherever Toko and what was his name again? Yasuhiro. All right. God, all these. Not dead. I was about to say dead names. Dead names. Yeah, definitely Sayaka. She's dead. Junko, she's definitely dead. Toko, alright. I guess I'll investigate her first. And after a few seconds... Huh? Who's there? Hag, the most negative aura I felt ever felt. An aura of total decay. What do you well, want? Okay. Alright, voice acting. So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. Oh, you too? Oh, I totally agree, Toko. Holy shit. It was in such a good mood, too. She didn't look like she was in a good hey, mood. I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? <laughs> Obviously annoyed, Toko slid out into the hall. What do you want? I want to talk to you about the fact that Sakura had asked you to meet you. Wait, who? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Byakuya already told me she a had asked to meet with him. <laughs> so yeah, the, you just spilled the beans then. Uh huh. Yeah, pretty much. So can you tell me about it? <laughs> Until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Toko said she didn't go. Alright then. Alright, where is uh, Yasuhiro? Where is that afro looking bastard? There you are. I press the doorbell. And after a few seconds, you know. What's up, Makoto? You need something? Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check on something about how- about uh, something- uh, It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. Uh, how did you know about that? Uh, did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have you a special- <laughs> um, But I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she wanted to ask Byakuya and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? Uh, um, well, she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? <laughs> yeah, uh, a note. She, uh... How about that? She gave it to me in person, and she happened to mention the others, like, in passing. That is very, very suspicious. So then you went to meet with Sakura? You got it all wrong! Yep, Actually. definitely suspicious. Last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt, and I took off to the nurse's Don't office. look at me! Well, I'm here. While I'm here, could you show me the note she gave you? Um. Hey, come on. Uh, but when he did, I saw something flutter onto the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Oh no, Hero! Huh? huh? What? Quick as a wind, Hero snatched it back up again. And shoved it back into his pockets. Hey, come on! Trash? What? Uh, if Hero really is the killer, he's really bad at doing so. I'm really afraid this is gonna be another easy case. Then again, he might just be an idiot. Who knows? Hero said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Pocket trash has been added to, yeah. Helko and Hero, um, what's next? I definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again on top of that. Maybe I should find out more about the protein can we found on the floor of the rec room. Alright, let's go to the chem lab then, just to investigate this protein thing with Jiggy. That should be our obvious step, right? Alright. Look if there's any traces of poison that's been used or whatever. Let's see. 
Because as strong as Sakura is, I'm not sure if she has some sort of poison immunity. Hello! What the fuck are you doing here? Makoto, did you have an eye on the chem lab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. I think what you me meant to say is, yes sir, I understand. Uh, okay. There also seems to be a little bit of scri scribble scrabble in this uh, poison jam thing too. Although for some reason, I can't investigate it. For some reason. Oh, there we go. I can basically get a broken bottle! Never mind. This isn't my first time seeing this shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. Okay, now I can investigate. I took a look at three shelves that have been connected to make sure one giant shelf, but the important thing right now is... What's the powder that's been spilled all over the shelf? Powder? Okay. A, B, C. And of course... Here we go. Let's look at A first. What's on this shelf? There are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. The protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number. But there's one that has C and 9. For some reason, it's placed on the A section. So I guess I consider this part of the shelf the unit A section, section A. Huh? But wait. This one bottle here has label Chem C9. Could someone have put it here on accident? Alright. What about B? So this is a shelf. Looks like a bunch of chemicals that I have no idea what they are. Hmm. They are regions, pretty simple. They're used to in experiments to bring out a chemical reaction. How have you lived blah blah blah? What? No, I'm pretty sure they're very useful up into the into the real world, learning about the di about the equations of gravity and mathematical equation on how to do your taxes. The problem with that is it's fucking boring as hell. That's fine. The words of a lifelong loser. Hey, I'm big on the internet. Assuming that you consider 22 subscribers, 22,000 subscribers big. <laughs> hey, that doesn't matter. Right now, I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers are shelf labeled with the letter B and a number. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary, so that's that. Up in the C section. On this shelf is one looks one look and I can tell nothing but dangerous chemicals. They're all crossbones and shit. These look like poison and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelf shelving unit section C. Should I try to find out more about the shelf unit? Looks like into three sections. Blah blah blah. Okay. Sarah must have gotten the protein drink from chemical section A. But what concerns me is that the section A, there was a bottle that was labeled section C. What's this bottle of poison from the section C doing in section A? There's definitely something going on here. So that's obvious. Alright, what about this broken poisonous bottle? There's a broken bottle in the front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder powder came from? Looks like the bottle's labeled is Chem C4. <laughs> C4. I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out, and at the moment this room wasn't like this. Then this powder must have been. Then this powder must so have been smelled. In other words, it could only have been around the time of the incident. That really is when it happened. It must be related to the case somehow. All right. So it's the powder. What about the powder itself? That spilled. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered around the floor. I better not leave a footprint. Speaking of footprint, though, whose footprints? Who foots? Whose footprints are these? And they're only in front of the left shelf. Hmm. How did these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out the floor plans. Hmm. What? So I got to work, and before I drawn up a sketch of the room. Alright then. This is basic enough. Not bad for you, I mean. I see. It would appear that whoever left these footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. That seems obvious. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. 
I'm not sure why they don't notice the f these uh, broken bottle or anything. Certainly possible. No. What? I couldn't think of any reason not to, so I quietly did what Byaki hmm. just said. Your feet do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit, these are not your footprints. Too big. So I'm, And I'm assuming Sakura's foot feet are pretty big, so... This can't be Sakura's footprints, then. Unfortunately. Hmm. But how... With how clear these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. And these prints are a really valuable clue, then. There are a bunch of yellow powder scattered around the floor of the shell. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle was labeled Chem C4. It also looks like someone left some footprints in the powder. So they must have recognized the powder, obviously. Based on the position of the floor, whoever was in there left most of the shell. According to Byakuya, the powder would have to have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell us for now. Alright. Already taking a good look at the chem lab. Maybe I should take another look around the rec room. Alright then. Let's go to the rec room, wherever that is. That's the second floor, I believe, right? Or the third floor. Third floor. Got it. Wait, I can't fast travel here? Oh, what the fuck, really? Alright then. Yeah, it looks like I'm done here, so... To the, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go downstairs. Alright, for backtracking, instead of fast travel. Uh, where's the, uh... No, this is the, uh, physics lab. The rec room should be somewhere here, correct? I'm getting warmer, I'm getting warmer. There it is. Okay. Hey. So, Makoto, how's your investigation going? A Tokyo, blah blah blah, told me. I see. I see. So, along with Byakuya, they're both claiming they didn't go see her. But it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Anyway... Well, I made some progress on my own. Sakura's body and shelf from the magazines and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. You do, you do well to look them over one more time. Okay. Um, oh, do you have anything else to say? We already know who- Okay. <laughs> Forgive me. Just the worst. Okay, so what exactly do I need to investigate, Kyoko? Hey. Sakura's body, the sh- Okay! Real new clues. Alright. Of course, I have to search around them. Just that the magazine shelf was hiding clues of some kind. Hmm, a clue. Huh? This magazine's upside down. What is that magazine? Makoto, ladies! You- You're going to the- what does that say? M m m m Miss Muscle appears cosplay king. Uh, okay. Did someone put it back in that way on accident? Hey. For someone, if something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. I picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through it. Toko. Okay, so this could probably either explain that either Toko's the murderer. Or, someone's framing it on Toko. Whatever the case is, Toko is certainly suspicious here. On one of the pages, near the center of the magazine, a word has been written in blood, bloody letters. And it says Toko. Could this be a dying message? Correct. Then it would appear you found it. Kyoko, is this? So... It is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write with it. A dying message. However... But just to be clear, I'm not sure... I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it, for the benefit of others who might come looking. Um... Hey, is that... That says Toko, right? Yeah, it looks like it. What the heck? Then she's a killer, right? Well, it hadn't been confirmed yet. Also, can you check for any fingernail blood? Um... Any, um, any blood on her fingers to see if that really is her dying message, or if someone trying to frame her or something. 
This could be someone else's handwriting. That That's inclusive evidence, right? We can't use it to corner the killer. I can see why you would think that, but... It just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me that much more suspicious. Alright. And looking from the handwriting, it kind of looks... Ugly. <laughs> I don't know, we're trying to take that into account, then I would say Yasuhiro's innocent, but who knows, he might have learned his lesson. Although, judging from his intelligence, I doubt it. So... I don't know. This could be Byakuya framing Toko. Okay, then. Anyway, so what else to examine the broken bottles? Or the bottles. I think Yuka said he found new clues involving the Monokuma bottles. Okay. Something new, something new. Hmm. Hey. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention and you I'm sure you'll find it. Okay. There's a king piece, there's a um, pawn piece, a rook piece, and a bishop piece. What I'm assuming is that there's supposed to be a horse piece in the middle of the rook in the bishop, because that was the last piece that we saw, right? Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me check real quickly. Is it this? It's a horse piece. So, a horse piece has to be in the middle of one of them. But not only that, but it seems like... I can't tell, is that king piece or a queen piece? I think that's a king piece. So there has to be a queen piece, right? In the... And I'm assuming the queen piece... If we're going in order, the queen piece has to be in the middle of the bishop and the king. So I'm guessing the horse is in the middle of the bishop and the rook. Was there any other, um, chess pieces that I'm un unaware of? I don't remember. Anyways, um... Hey, Kyoko, can't you tell me what it is? I think I already figured it out, Makoto. It's not that hard. So... I don't mind guiding you towards clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come up with their own conclusion so that everyone can have a confidence in the outcome. No answer! <laughs> I do trust you to a degree, otherwise. I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree. Okay. Hey. Actually, there's one thing about the Monokuma balls that's been bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping, right? An experiment. Anyway. Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma? Try to get the smaller pieces, too. That doesn't right. matter. So then. Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm gone, try to gather up all the glasses, okay? Alright. And just as I finished it, sorry to keep you waiting. So then. Is everything ready? Then let's get to work. So, what kind of experiment are we doing? Another one. I got a scale from the chem lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Really? The pieces of glass you collected, and the one on Monokuma bottle fine to be intact. That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. Alright. Listen. First, let's compare the weights of two of the normal Monokuma bottles. It's balanced. In other right. words. Which means each Monokuma file weighs about the same. Did you test it with the other ones? Because I'm pretty sure like the rook could be like or the pawn could be like Slightly less in weight than the uh, the king or queen or whatever. The Monokuma figures are inside are basically the same, and nothing else would really affect the weight. So now, here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on one side of the scale. Now, what might we expect? Are we gonna judge this from like inertia or like different sides of the weight as well? Well, my normal assumption would be. Either they'll balance out, or the pieces I collected will be lighter. Yeah, but like, we would have to like, organize the bottles back or something, right? Not only that, but we also have like, a chess piece as well. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I might have missed out here or right there. Okay then, let's give it a try. Huh? The broken pieces are heavier. Okay. So it could be because... These bottles are not necessarily, um... Alright, that makes sense. Unless the bag is fucking heavy as hell. How is that possible? I don't know. Air? I knew it. Just as I thought. 
wife. In other words, the results of our experiments and the correlation between each of the bottles put it all together. And I believe you will arrive at the very persuasive conclusion. I will say that the fact that there's like two bottles missing, that could mean that two bottles were used to blow Sakura, basically. So, what do you think? It's all on you. There's two bottles. Two broken bottles. Alright, so that's that. That's my conclusion, at least. Seems like an obvious conclusion. According to Kyoko, there's still something to be discovered from Sakura's body. Is there any blood on her fingertips? Just a second. Just starting off into space isn't going to help figure it out. Yeah, but... Hey. Don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? Ooh. There's no getting around it. But like me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely un unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown to persuade to use, although there's still some times. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I just can't get used to it's it. It's true. It's totally normal. Then how can you... So... I imagine it's because I had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. What? Sorry, never mind. Hey. More importantly, look here. Poison on her feet, so this footprint has to be her then. Her Correct. shoes. You see the yellow powder on her instep. Yeah, it really stands out. I see. That powder is the that powder is clue number one. Okay. Hey. That seems obvious. Next is the wound on her head. It's Look true. carefully. Actually, even telling you that it's incredibly difficult to spot. So let me just explain. See. It would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow. When said, received two blows to the head. Two blows. Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And that's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. So, this has to be someone framing Toko then, basically. Otherwise, if she this is her dying message, it can't be Toko who killed her. Or maybe it could, but, uh, I don't know. Why would they pin them? I don't, I don't fucking know. Maybe they're telling us the answer as well, who knows. Toko's still suspicious, I guess, but... This does prove that... Sakura's not the one who wrote the dying message if her both of her hands are spotless. It's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. Okay. I can't believe she was able to learn all that just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. Huh. Is this investig is this uh, trial time? I think we got all the investigation we've done. Whoops, you caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay awake. Oh, wow, really? Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, then let's begin the class trial. All right, that's all the information we're getting then. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. All right then. It's already time, but the mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever happens will have to happen in the class trial. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. Alright. Looks like we're gonna go to the class trial on the next episode of Danganronpa. You know how I separate these things, right? Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the future of my Let's Plays. This is Basinger signing out. Whew, I can't wait for this trial. This is gonna be one hell of a doozy.